Chiffchaff and willow warbler are two commonly encountered greenish leaf warblers. They're most often found in woodland, scrub, hedges and sometimes gardens. They're both very small, about the same size as a blue tit, but more delicately built. Both are also spring migrants, with chiffchaffs arriving from around about the middle of March and willow warblers arriving 10 to 14 days later in April, although increasingly chiffchaffs are spending the winter with us as well. Both species are very similar in looks and this can cause problems when trying to identify them. There are differences however. Let's look at chiffchaff first. This is a small slender bird, predominantly green in colour, although that can vary and sometimes it can appear greyish or even slightly brown. There is a paler eye stripe above the dark eye, although it isn't particularly distinct. And the bird also has a slightly dark cheek, which can make the white eye ring stand out and be very distinctive. The most particular feature, however, are the dark legs, which are dark brown or almost black, and also the fact that it has short wing tips. Chiffchaffs are short distance migrants and have short primary feathers, giving their wings a short, stumpy appearance. Willow warblers, on the other hand, are generally brighter and more yellowish, with pale underneath. The eye stripe is usually brighter and again more yellow. The most obvious difference, however, are the colour of the legs, which on willow warbler are usually a pale pinky colour. Willow warblers are long distance migrants and they have longer primary feathers, which gives the bird a much more long winged appearance. Of course, getting a good view of either of these species is very difficult as they flit about in the trees and bushes. Indeed, getting a view good enough to be able to see the colour of the legs or the length of the wings can be nearly impossible. Luckily for us, however, it is fairly easy to tell these two species apart on their songs and calls. The chiffchaff lives up to its name with its distinctive, familiar and monotonous chiffchaff, chiffchaff, chiffchaff. If you listen long enough, however, you can sometimes hear them get it wrong and sing chaff chiff, chaff chiff. The willow warbler has a more complex, quite beautiful little song, whose main distinctive feature is the descending trill at the end. Willow warblers will sometimes repeat this trill over and over again. The calls of the two species are more similar, but they can be told apart with care. The chiff chaff's call is a single syllable, wheat. It's quite a soft call and the birds repeat it over and over again as they go about their business. It has been likened to a child's squeaky toy. The willow warbler call, on the other hand, has two syllables. Much more of a hueet, with the second syllable being slurred upwards. <laughs> 